everybody and welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection. In today's video, we are going to take a look at Bluefin's Sailor Moon Lucky Bag. Now, Bluefin is the official exclusive North American distributor for Bondi products. And at the end of December 2020, they released a Sailor Moon Lucky Bag that they retailed for $50. Now, they did include a description of what was going to be inside the Sailor Moon Lucky Bag. And I'm going to show you guys the description on their website right now on the screen. I personally was a little confused by it. I thought it contained four figures because the comma placements are kind of odd in the description. However, a few fans pointed out to me that they believe it was only going to be three figures. After studying it a little bit more, I agree with them. I think there are going to be only three figures in this box. It was going to be way too good of a deal if there was gonna be four figures for $50. So what I believe is in this box are number one, I believe the Chibiusa and Pegasus Bondi Figure Arts Zero Suet figure is in here. I also believe they have the Bondi SH Figure Arts Sailor Mars. However, I'm not sure which one they included, if this was the original Sailor Mars released in 2013 or the new Sailor Mars Figure Arts Animation Color Edition. We're going to find out. And number three, I believe the Sailor Mercury Bondi Tamashi Buddies is in this box. So we're going to find out exactly what is in this lucky bag, even though it's a box, together for the first time on video. It just arrived today, so I haven't peeked, I haven't opened it or anything. So I'm going to be seeing this as you guys are for the first time. Are we ready, guys? I hope so. Do me a favor real quick. While I'm thinking about it, please hit that like button. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Please do me a favor, guys, while I'm thinking about it. Hit that thumbs up button for me so you guys can show your support for the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I always am very thankful when you guys give my videos a thumbs up. All right. Holy crap, it's actually a bag. They are legit a lucky bag. Nothing else in the box, guys. Here is what I just pulled out. We got a little bit of box residue on it. We got like a little tag or something right here. It says 2019 Sailor Moon Lucky Bag Revision 1. And so apparently they must have had these in 2019 and they decided to bring them back in 2020. I don't think I reported on anything in 2019 on that, so I'm not sure. Let me know down there in the comments if you guys purchased a 2019 Sailor Moon Lucky Bag to let me know if they actually had one in 2019. I'm curious. So this bag is stapled. I wish I had a uh, staple remover, but we're just going to be awful and just remove it like that. This one has one of those little tags on there, so I will cut that. You guys ready? You guys ready? Item number one in the lucky bag. We have the original Sailor Mars SH figure arts. And I actually thought this is the one that they would have because the animation color editions are brand new. So it makes sense for them to get rid of the older model so they can sell the newer model. So for new collectors out there, this is what the boxes of the older SH figure arts used to look like versus the newer animation color editions, which have a completely different box remodel on them. Still, this figure retailed around $45 back when it came out. So this is already close to $50. And they didn't send us crappy used items either that they were just trying to get rid of. These are actually sealed on both sides. Raychan always looking fierce. All right, we'll set her off to the side. What's next in the lucky bag? We have the Sailor Mercury Tamashi Buddies. I know a lot of people didn't collect this line just because they were such a cheap, chibi figure line, but I really like these because the quality is immaculate. Like when you look at the details on them, they are very good. Their faces are very close to how the characters look in the anime. And this one is also sealed. And I want to note the box condition is very good too. So like I said, it's not like it's super old dead stock that's damaged. They are actually looking pretty good. I'm impressed. And the big reveal is in its own cardboard box. And thus the bag 
has expended itself. It is done. That was the third item. So there are three figures inside the lucky bag. What do you think? Did we get lucky, guys? So this is the Figure Arts Zero Suet figure, Chibiusa and Helios. Now this puppy is the most expensive one out of the whole thing. Do you guys like the use of the die cut Super Sailor Moon rug? Thought I'd switch it up for you guys. We are going to cut the tape. Again, this has never been removed from the box. We are the first owners. It is brand new stock. This was meant to just be a quick little video. I actually ordered this lucky bag for a friend in Canada and he agreed that I could do a video on it so I could show you guys what came in the lucky bag. So shout out to G for letting me open up his items on video. Ta-da! be gentle here so our assumptions were correct the three figures i predicted at the beginning of the video we got inside the lucky bag i'm not going to be opening this one up so you can't really see what the figure looks like but thanks to good old google i'll include an image of what this figure looks like if you open it up and this whopper retails around 67 dollars, if not more depending on where you bought it from and i believe these are soon out of print guys i don't think they're going to last very much longer so you already got your money's worth with this figure plus two additional ones for $50 in the Sailor Moon Lucky Bag 2020. Even though it said 2019, we bought this in 2020. The value of this Sailor Moon Lucky Bag is $127 when it was listed for only 50. So it was a heck of a bargain. If Bluefin does a Lucky Bag at the end of 2021, I would say it's worth it. You get well over your money's worth of the $50 that you paid. If you guys want to stay up to date on the latest Sailor Moon releases like this lucky bag, make sure you're following me either on my Facebook page or my Twitter account, and I will make sure you never miss a merchandise drop. I've got my socials right here on the screen, or if you scroll down there to the description, I've got the link to them as well. Hit that subscribe button, folks, if you guys are new around here. I've got lots more Sailor Moon content planned. I'm really, really behind on content, but I'm going to be checking out a lot in 2021, so I wanna make sure you guys don't miss a video. Also, I wanna know, did any of you guys out there buy the lucky bag? Let me know down there in the comments, or if you missed it and you wish you did get it, I want to know too. I'm so super duper sorry. Hopefully you'll have a chance to get the next one they do at the end of 2021 if they decide to continue on with the lucky bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're bored and you want to shoot me a message over at my Instagram account, I'm at Wolf and would love to chat with you. See you guys in the next video.